Hello and welcome back to our run through of Let's Defend. Today we're going to cover SOC 106 event ID 17. This is again another VIP uh, membership required exercise that comes back with the aspect for threat intelligence. get myself assigned all right so I'm going to grab all the information they provide us copy and paste into a notepad entry to the side for the this quote-unquote investigation and it looks like we're investigating the Chanprod system for a chrome setup.exe that looks like AV flag to detection and clean the file. Alright, so what we will do is go into let's see, not case management, endpoint security, there we go. And we're going to take a quick poke and prod at Chanprod. No browser history. No command history. Huh. Agent error on the network connections list. Uh, probably would be just be safe to nuke and reload. But process history. Okay. It looks like it would all fit. So we'll start with taking the hash for the 85.0.4183.102 underscore chrome underscore, underscore installer dot exe. And we'll prop it into virus total. This was done, well, now a couple of days ago. Let me refresh the page. Yes, I did a little bit of work before starting the video section. So four days ago, absolutely no engines detected. It looks like it is signed by Google. And by having said that, apparently I've triggered the <laughs> Google voice command system. Oh, great. All right, so nothing there looks out of place. And because we're already looking at the endpoints, we'll go through and the other executable hashes that are there. So here's Outlook copied and pasted. Again, four days old, but absolutely no detections. And then the VMware USB Arbitrator 64. Refresh it again. Three days ago this time since it was fully rerun. No viral detections anywhere. So this looks like a bug hunt for absolutely nothing. But the interesting aspect is if we go and take a look at the threat intelligence data feed that the interface provides us, we see that the hash in question on item number one, starting BFE ending in 051, Oh, um, oh, here it is. Yeah, for the Chrome installer, starting with BFE ending in 051. So we've got thread intel that says this, this is malicious. Although, when we run the sucker through virus total, we get absolutely no detections whatsoever. If we take a look at the behavior from the sandbox that's provided, it looks like all it does is result to Google. I'm thinking this might be a false positive. Bad threat intel. BCH. Um, I've also taken the liberty of running the files through uh, both sandboxing solutions, hybrid analysis and any.run. And so underneath HA, there's one from last month on the 13th that came back marked as entirely clean. And 
one section uh, was run on the 24th that comes up as suspicious. So why do we mark it as suspicious? Locates virtual memory in a remote process. Writes data to a remote process. Which all looks, looks like things that you would kind of expect for the installer for an application. Spawns lots of processes. Yeah. Uh, command line, install source, tagged. I mean, honestly, this just looks like a run of the mill installer. Import suspicious APIs. Well, we keep in mind the fact that it's actually installing. Um, and then the similar sort of results through the any.run sandboxing portion comes back and marks it as malicious. But the file names, everything else like that, look like it's all on board. And realistically, I mean, a lot of these connections like their Google. Although I'm seeing things in here for like GVT1. That looks a little bit odd. So what we'll do is we'll bring up Talos. We'll stick in GVT1.com. Wait for that to finish. And what do we have? Infrastructure and Content Delivery Networks. Oh, that all point to Google. So it's another Google domain. See, I don't see anything in here that really leads me to believe that this is bad. But let's go ahead and run through and oh, work our way through the playbook. Oh, let's take a look at the internet traffic. So, this endpoint is 172.16.17.150. And so we'll go source address. Nothing. So we'll go destination address and type that in. Nothing. So nothing in log management. As it sits, I have no understanding that it is actually setting itself to boot at startup. Given the fact that this looks like it was the AV actually cleaned the threat, we're just going to answer antivirus program malfunctioning. Was it quarantined? Well, considering the fact that the action taken said cleaned. Oh, now this I could go either which way with. But given the fact that it cleaned it, we're just going to say in the affirmative. Um, having looked at everything, I'm going to say not nah, malicious. We'll finish the playbook and we'll take a look and see as to whether or not if I just messed that up terribly. So I'm going to call false positive. And just denote looks to be a false positive. With a 
Google Chrome installer. And we'll close the alert. And let's see as to whether or not if we screwed this up terribly. Well, okay, we got it right in terms of marking as a false positive. The fact that it was cleaned, so it's just a terminology difference. Uh, is it malicious? And was there access to a malicious address? I may have to go back and pull up the video as I'm recording this and take a look. But considering the fact that the log files didn't show any sort of activity from that system, I don't, know, I don't remember being asked specifically. Although I could have entirely got it wrong. If I got it wrong, or if I could figure out where this one point came off, I'll do a follow-up video. But effectively as it is, there's the general th 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 thought process centered around the aspect of threat intel in terms of taking a detection from that threat intel and doing a rudimentary dissection and analysis and not just taking the uh, threat intel feeds word for it.